Yo, what's up everyone? Uh, gonna be making a quick video, or fairly quick anyways. Um, just wanted to go ahead and follow up on a video that I had seen earlier. It was with uh, people weighing out with the packs to go ahead and show that uh, cold foils um, can be weighed out if you open up a booster box and weigh the individual packs. Um, so I wanted to go ahead and test out something else. I wanted to go ahead and test out the weighing of the booster boxes themselves. Uh, to see if you could kind of get an idea of which one would hold uh, cold foils at all in general. Or, uh, as we know, not every single box has cold foils. Majority of them do, but um wanted to see if there was a way to, like, kind of mitigate uh, pulling a non-cold foil box. I uh, wanted to see if there was a way for people to actually, like, kind of scam that out uh, instead of just, you know, going for totally random uh, I want to see if that was actually a thing you could tell. So uh, what I went ahead and did last night, went out, picked up a basic, uh, more or less basic um, digital scale to go ahead and kind of weigh it. Uh, I have four packs left over. I have one more, uh, four boxes anyways, four boxes still. I uh, had a fifth one that's coming in, and um, that'll be it for my boxes that I got. Uh, but I did go ahead and test out the weights and I did notice something different so here you're gonna go ahead and see uh, what I mean by the weight differences so for three of the booster boxes uh, it looks like uh, this one's 726 this one is should be 726 also yep 726 as well uh, this one should be 726 as well uh, 725, 726 is what I've kind of seen it uh, going between. Uh, and yep, 726 again. This last one, though, this one should be 728. Yep. So this one is 728 grams. Uh, so what I wanted to go ahead and do, um, just, for, just for the sake of science, just to go ahead and test it out, see if there's any way to kind of uh, see if you could kind of guess what you're going to get ahead of time. Um, my th my thought process here is because we found out that the cold foils weigh less. This one should be a non cold foil box. I'm taking a risk here just because of the fact that you know cold foils is where you're gonna get any kind of uh, money back right now. Um, but there's also a chance uh, that it could be because the regular rainbow foils actually are heavier uh, maybe this is actually the uh, gonna be a box that has an extended art uh, rainbow foil uh, so just wanted to go ahead and test it out all right sorry about that so for some dumb reason uh, my video camera decided to stop recording uh, so anyways uh, I've already ripped off the wrapper here um, gonna go ahead and get back into the opening for whatever reason um, I really hope it doesn't cut off again because that's going to be real annoying. Um, yeah, hopefully it shouldn't cut off again. But I'm having some problems with the program here lately. Uh, it'll record maybe like a minute. Huh. I just noticed that. Uh, booster packs are upside down for some reason. Anyways. Um, yeah, that's weird. Yeah, for some reason I've been having issues where the videos will record in like a minute or two minute long intervals uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and keep going with it but if it stops again I'm gonna go ahead and swap over to a different program and uh, continue the video from there uh, hopefully it doesn't because uh, yeah I don't like having weird inconsistencies like that we're not gonna go ahead and weigh out the packs because um, I don't want to go through all that time and go rise above for the rare foil so other thing I was thinking about, uh, it could possibly be that, um, you know, maybe this one is just uh, chock full of more hollow rares, uh, since hollows do way more. So I don't know. We'll find out soon. All right, I'm just going to scoot on over just real quick. Okay, that's better. All right, sorry about that. So gonna go ahead and keep going. Now I'm over here paranoid looking at the 
thing every couple seconds just to go ahead and see if it stops recording. Oh man, this one's being weird. This one feels like glued weird, like the whole thing is sealed shut. Like there's no flap for me to grab at or... Whatever, let me go ahead and just push it down and... Ugh, I don't like doing this. I'm gonna use a pair of scissors to cut it open. Okay, no damage, we're good. So over here, so token, one, two, three, four. Put this here. Okay, so the foil on the back. Oh, that wasn't the foil, that was the gear. Or gears over here, what am I doing? Oh, I'm out of a lot of sorts. So, rare, rare, majestic tome of uh, torment. Got a couple of tomes, so that's cool. Don't think I got any in uh, foil yet. Okay, so next up we got Prism, token, two, three, four. Put these to the side. Got Aether Ironweave, Glisten, Tremor of Rathiel, and Herald of Rebirth. So common. Go and just scoot the laptop over just a sec. There we go. It's better. Okay. What's going on? Let's go ahead and try to get another pack open here. Before my camera decides to crash again for some reason. Token. One, two, three, four. So really, I'm not sure what to expect with this one. Um, just the fact that I only had like one booster box that weighed signi like significantly more. Uh, by that just, you know, two grams. Doesn't seem like much, but... I don't know. I thought it was something significant enough to try to check out. Also, weirdly enough, it was the only box that I've received where all the booster bo all the booster packs were like upside down. Okay. Gantry Gold, Dimensional Gateway, Out Muscle, and Convulsions. All right, so maybe it is just a higher foil percentage in here. Not sure. Still hoping we at least get one cold foil though. But if not, then uh, yeah, then we'll at least be able to know that there's a way to possibly weigh out which ones do and don't uh, have a cold foil. And there we go, Guardian of the Shadow Realm. I think that's my second one, so that's cool. That opened up way easier than I meant to. to. Okay. I mean, I would love to be proven that uh, proven wrong that you know this may invert existence. Uh, this may just mean that there's a full art um, rainbow foil somewhere. Just because that'd be cool, but also that would be bad in the long run because then that would just mean that people would be able to weigh out their individual boxes see which ones may have the full arts because the full arts are the ones that are going for higher prices right now I mean they're they seem to be uh, harder to hit than the um, than the legendaries themselves uh, I'd say harder to hit than the fable but I, I still don't think that the fables that incredibly easy to get um, as we've seen, you know, there's people who've like just cranked through boxes and got zero fables, and there's other people, um, you know, like me, got lucky, opened a few boxes, and there you go, there's your fable. I still think that the randomization is pretty good. Um, I will say it is a little bit weird about the cases having the um, multiples of like the same, like legendary or cold foil uh, commons. Uh, within the same case, so I don't know. Maybe some randomness, uh, lack of randomness there, but uh, if you're getting individual booster boxes, I mean, at least there's some randomization for sure. 
So Ironhide Helm, Seek Horizon, Howl from Beyond, and Surging Militia. Man, I swear, I thought I was done opening boxes, but we gotta do it for science. Crack Bobble. Okay, so far so good. Video's still going. Shadow Puppetry, there you go. That's my playset there. I uh, already had one uh, foil and one non foil, so there you go. Uh, third one to make it the full playset. Oops. Kind of spread up. Uh, Ironhide Legs, Trim of Rathiel. Phantasmify. Okay, so there is a cold foil in this one. Uh, Iron Eyed Helm. Go and put that off to the side and I'll just leave it later. I didn't actually bring my sleeves with me. Uh, not the best set. not the best call, but that's fine. At least we did get a cold foil. You know, I cannot get there we go. Three, four. All right, so we got the cold foil already. Um, hoping that there may be something left in this box. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Just the fact that it, you know, I, I showed you all that uh, the weights were pretty much all the same across the board for three out of four of them. So I don't know. This fourth one just has me thinking that there may be something different about it. Um, as we could see there, it wasn't that it didn't have a cold foil, so I don't know what to say. I don't know what it could be that's causing it to weigh that little bit more. Maybe it's just extra air, and I'm just looking too much into it. Um, but who knows? We won't know until we finish opening up the rest of this. Because, uh, yeah, if it was a double co uh, cold foil box... Uh, it should be lighter than uh, the other three. And we've got Rare Pulpin. So, so far we have... We have quite a few uh, Rainbow uh, rainbow Foils. Uh, but the thing that I'm thinking about now... Uh, the number of, cold fo uh, of Rainbow Foils shouldn't exactly affect it that much because I mean you're supposed to get a rainbow foil in every pack uh, it was just the cold foils that weighed less so now I'm thinking about it this one had the cold foil uh, it had same number of uh, rainbow foils as it normally would so why would it be more heavy I don't know hoping I get that full art though hard to get that full art that'd be cool and that would be a good way to show why the box is heavier. Aether Iron Weave, Dusk Path Pilgrimage, Dimensional Gateway, and Dimensional Crossroads. Oh, foil. Cool. That's not a bad uh, Majestic to pull for a foil. It looks really nice too. And uh, now that I finally got a way to take off the autofocus, you're able to see the cards a little bit better now. So yeah, the rainbow foil looks really nice on it. Okay, so back to it. Um, we have Iron Eyed Legs, Invigorating Light, Dust Path Pilgrimage, and Consuming Aftermath. Getting a good number of uh, foil rares, at least. And Majestics, that's the second one, right? Yeah. Okay, start off with, oh, whoops, I forgot to do the trick, but whatever. Uh, Yinti Yanti for the common stubby hammers, invigorating light, unhollowed rights. I was wondering, I'm like, wait a second, that's supposed to be gear. I just forgot to put the foil in the back. Because I thought the last four is the two rares, the foil, and then uh, the equipment. So that's three, four. So what do we got here? We got Aether Iron Wave, Hollowed Rites, Rouse the Ancients, 
And second swing. I don't know what Rousey Ancients would be good for. I feel like it's probably more of a guardian guardian card. Um, just because of how much pitch it takes. Because, I mean, I, I could think of a bunch more cards that uh, caught, take less resource but swing almost as hard. Okay, so Ironhide Gauntlet, Herald of Triumph, Glisten, and Engulfing Light. So last three packs. Hoping for that second to last pack magic again. Or at least last pack magic, so there's something. Because right now, not looking too good. Pulping, Convulsions, and Surging Militia. So yeah, if anything, um, man, it could have just been air. Could have been two grams of air. I don't know how you get two grams of air, but that that's what happened. Four. Okay, so got Time Skippers, Pulping. Ah, oh, no, that exude confidence. Nice. And a Belittle. Okay, last pack. Second last pack had Majestic. Not a, not a bad Majestic at all either. Um, so let's see if there's any last pack magic. Okay, who's the Shadow Beast? No, let's slow roll it. Got the hooves. We have Rise Above. Okay. Have Herald of Judgment. And Spears of Surreality. Well, nothing good there. Um, did this for science. Uh, I can't say this was a great box. Uh, can't say it was. A terrible box? I mean, we got the cold foil. There was a cold foil in it. So, I mean, at least we had that. Uh, Shadow Puppetry, Exude Confidence. There's some okay Majestics here. Uh, Dimensional Crossroads is probably the better one, I think. Um, yeah. It was a pretty average box. Uh, but I'd, I'll take average over a bad box any day. But yeah, there you have it. Um, Weights uh, for the boxes probably don't mean crap. Um, you know, we saw it. I, I measured them out for y'all uh, to start off with, and those clearly a difference. Um, but, you know, that's how it goes. Uh, so don't measure, don't weigh out the, the booster boxes unless you see like something that's like completely. Uh, completely, completely different. Um, I don't think there's really a difference that you're going to be able to tell unless if you go in with that, um, like the one hundredths of a gram uh, digital scale. Um, I couldn't find one of those, so I just went with that. Uh, but even then, we were able to see a difference in grams in general, so I figured that might have been uh, indicative of something, but nah. Nah, I was just uh, hopeful thinking. Anyways, uh, thanks, for thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll have some more videos coming up soon. Uh, actually, probably going to go ahead and do a deck tech on my Illusionist deck once I get that finished up. Um, I, f I finished the deck, but I want to go ahead and uh, play test it a little bit first. I haven't had a chance to play, but tonight I'll be going o on over to um, to our, our, our weekly meetup for Flesh and Blood, so I'll go ahead and get a test it out then. Uh, see if it works, uh, see what doesn't work, and then I'll go ahead and work on it from there, and I'll go ahead and... Uh, Get a deck tech video going. Alright, see you all in the next one.